Hello and welcome to round number one of the 2024 Progressive Grand National Cross Country Racing Series presented by Specialized, your AMA National Championship. As we think back to last season, it was Bryce and Neil capturing the National Championship, a back-to-back -back champion for 22 and 23. What can he do here in 2024? Can he do the three-peat? Can it happen this season? He'll be challenged. Hunter Hart coming back healthy and strong, determined and focused. And of course, Walker Fowler, he is back to full health. He got a podium, he got a win. Can he compete for that national championship? All of that and more starts right here, right now. Welcome to round number one of the 2024 Progressive Grand National Cross Country Racing Series presented by Specialized, your AMA National Championship. We are here in South Carolina. As always, for the opening round of the 2024 season, the VP Racing Fuels, Big Buck GNCC. Well, the stage is set. The Bidwell Bullet, obviously, going to be the man to beat here today, and we had a chance to catch up with him. All right, thanks, Mikey. Yeah, we're here with Bryson Neal. Bryson, take us through this offseason, how you feel going into 2024. Oh, it's been a great offseason. Uh, you know, one of the, the great things we got going into this year is no changes. Uh, last year we had a few big major changes going on, engine, team, a, a lot of uh, other things, and um, had a lot of work in the offseason to do. But this year has been smooth and easy. Um, built the bikes. I've been able to train good, and uh, we're feeling good, feeling really good going into this year. Bryson, how does it feel to be a two-time champ? Uh, I can't lie. It's it's a huge weight off the shoulders. Uh, it's, to get the second one to back it up, uh, I feel like, you know, going into this year, uh, the pressure's there, but it's not the same weight. So uh, I think that's definitely a good thing. Bryson, how crucial are these first few rounds? Oh, it's it just sets the tone for the year. You know, um, I've been I've been the guy in the past who's uh, came out here and had a bad race in the first one and been in the in the hole right off the bat. So, uh, you know, it's critical to try to come out, make the most of your first three races, uh, try to take care of the bike, try not to make no mistakes, and uh, try not to have no boo boos and put yourself in a hole early, and uh, then have to claw back the rest of the season. So, uh, that's the ultimate goal. Well, obviously, the Bidwell Bullet ready to uh, go racing here today. Look for a win. And another heavy hitter, Hunter Hart, certainly a challenger. We had a chance to catch up with him as well. We're here with our 2023 XC1 ATV runner-up, Hunter Hart. Hunter, first of all, you're looking good, man. How was the off-season? How are you feeling coming into 2024? Oh, it was great, dude. One of my best off-seasons yet, you know. Uh, we were down in Florida literally from, from the end of Ironman till until now you know it's been an awesome awesome winter you know great great friends down there um you know live close to Kroom, you know about 20 minutes from there so it uh it was a it was a fun winter you know good great training um weather was a little cold but you know other than that it was it was fun you know i'm excited to be here i'm excited to be back on the dirt and you know most importantly excited to get back to gncc racing absolutely now you had a fantastic 2023 season coming up just short of that title but some great battles along the way uh, how are you feeling about 2024 and how important are these first couple of rounds to uh capture that overall championship Dude, you know, I mean, I'm feeling great. Um, best I felt in years, honestly. You know, I usually have a have a pretty good one coming in. You know, just a practice crash here or there, and you know, ironically had one a couple weeks ago. Hopped up off the ground, and I was like, "We're good." And uh, I was like, "Sick." You know, all the stars are aligning right now, and you know, I'm I'm feeling good. You know, we're 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 in shape. Uh, I've checked a lot of the boxes off that I usually don't hit in the in, hit in the off season, and. I, I think it's good, you know. I mean, we, you only know how prepared you are after after tomorrow at about, uh, man, what is it, 3.30, 4 o'clock, we, we'll say. You know, um, that's when we'll be able to reflect on and be like, all right, we're, we're in a good spot, or man, we, uh, we got a long couple weeks ahead of us. But I think that we're going to be, you know, in a really good spot. I honestly didn't, didn't really stop training after um, Ironman kind of tried to keep the momentum rolling from, from what was Ironman that we were able to build on. And just fix to fix a couple things. You know, the the end of the year, uh, we definitely had a little bit of an issue, um, just that last little bit. And you know, I've I've I worked hard on that this off season, 
and from there we're we're dialed in. Well, Hunter Hart, feeling prepared and ready for a championship fight here in 2024. All right, taking a look at uh, our past winners here at the Big Buck GNCC. B. Neal, the Bidwell Bullet, he's won the last three. Walker Fowler uh, won the three prior to that. Of course, 2019, we got rained out. Did not race here at this location uh, to open up the season. But uh, nonetheless, hey, if your name's Bryson Neal, you got to be feeling good today. If you're Walker Fowler, you got to be feeling good today. And, of course, the challenger, Hunter Hart, uh, going to be in the mix as well. Kanati Tires, whole shot award up for grabs as the XC1 jockeys for position. That is going to be the sneaky snake, Jared McClure, the Cobra. Grabbing that whole shot and early lead, but how about this? Josh Merritt, the number five out in front. Walker Fowler on the 7-2-3 in that number two spot. Boy, sensational start for that young man, and the Bidwell Bullet going to have his work cut out for him here today. And we take a look now at the XC2 class. BNR Motorsports whole shot award up for grabs in this one. And as our riders jockey for position. Man, it did not quite catch who grabbed the hole shot. I think that was Alex Tiemann, as a matter of fact, out of that XC2 class. So Alex Tiemann going to grab the hole shot out of the XC2. As, uh, boy, a lot at stake for the XC2 class this year. We know for one thing is for certain we're going to have a new XC2 champion with Stephen Harrell moving up into the XC1 class as a rookie. How will he fare? as a rookie in the XC1 class this season. But hey, we are off and rolling here at the VP Racing Fuels, Big Buck GNCC, Josh Marin leading the way. We'll be right back after this. Progressive GNCC Racing is brought to you by Progressive. Progressive could save you hundreds of dollars on your automobile and motorcycle insurance. Specialized, specialized e-turbo bicycles. It's you, only faster. RockyMountainATVMC.com. Get ready. Well, welcome back to GNCC here on RacerTV.com. It is still the number five. A Josh Merritt out in front in this one as Jared McClure tries to keep pace aboard the Honda. And how about that? Another Honda in the top three. Adam McGill into the mix early in this one as well. So things really getting sorted out here in the XC1 Pro class. And Bryson Neal still trying to go work uh, back there in the middle of the pack of that XC1 class. And uh, boy, how about that uh, Walker Fowler front uh, grab bar? A little banged up right there. So things not going exactly the way Walker Fowler wants him to go, but Merritt taking advantage, still moving out in front. There's the Bidwell bullet up into the number three spot now. Gets around Adam McGill, who drops back into the number four position, and it is still Jared McClure in the number two spot. So our XC2 guys, there goes the number two. Not a great start for Hunter Hart. About a middle of the pack start for him. He certainly has his work cut out for him into the back of the pack for that XC1 class, Austin Abney. But boy, how about it for Josh Merritt? Let's talk about Merritt for a moment. Uh, Merritt was the guy going into last season as those front three still the same. And uh, there is Adam McGill trying to keep pace with the top three. But nonetheless, Merritt was that guy that uh, I think anybody who's in the know, so you circle that name because we expected some big things out of Merritt. Um, he did well. He had a, a decent season, obviously, coming away with a uh, national number five. But I think Merritt felt like, hey, I may have left a little bit on the table. I feel like maybe I can be a podium guy. And, uh, boy, so far, so good for Josh Merritt. I got to think maybe this is the breakout year for Josh Merritt. You can argue last year was. I don't know. I'm expecting bigger and better out of Merritt this season. Maybe he can pull off a win here today. Boy, that would really set the bar for the season. And now we watch the racing unfold here on the Yamaha Racing Live Drone. Merritt and uh, B. Neal. Boy, look at the line choices right there as our riders continue to jo jockey for position inside, outside. How do you want it? Where do you make the pass? Oh, can he make it stick? No, he cannot. But boy, this is good racing right here from the Yamaha Racing Live Drone as our riders out in front continue to go back and forth. And now look at this, the number one, Bryson Neal, 
is your leader out in front. Going to be a, a great challenge right here for Josh Merritt as Jared McClure still in that number three spot. Back behind those guys, but boy, battle unfolding. And like I said, what a test for Merritt. He gives up the lead, but uh, boy, if you can get up there and key off of the Bidwell bullet, maybe get out the, uh, the pencil and the notepad, start taking some notes on what uh, Bryson Neal's doing, what's working, what lines are working out there as Jared McClure continues to move in that number three spot. And boy, no signs of the 521. Where is Adam McGill back there? Bidwell bullet. Let's see what he can do with clean air out in front before they start getting into some of this lap traffic. Merritt still doing a good job of keeping pace with Bryson Neal out in front. But boy, how sensational has Bryson Neal been capturing uh, his second national title last season. And uh, how about it for the Ironman? Ends up tying Bob Sloan. Uh, Ironman Bob Sloan on the all-time wins list. And today, maybe he surpasses him, putting a little gap now between him and the number five, Josh Merritt. And Merritt, same gap back to Jared McClure as far as we can see. So things really starting to spread out here at the Big Buck GNCC. And just flawless. You see him just railing the outside, carrying that momentum and speed. Bryson Neal certainly won with the machine out there on that Phoenix race in Yamaha. And here comes Merritt. Merritt still in the number two spot. Having a great ride to start the 2024 season. And there is Jared McClure. And now Jared McClure's got all the smoke as the rest of the XC1 class has found their way to him and didn't get a look at the number plate. But I believe that was uh, Walker Fowler on the move. He's clicked off a couple of positions into the uh, GBC tires pit stop on Pro Row right here for Bryce and Neil, business as usual. Get some fuel, a new set of goggles, and a little hydration. And you see, I think I saw Matt Pierce back there looking like, goodness gracious, he gone. He has checked out. So Bryce and Neil in and out of the pits before the rest of the XC1 class gets there, setting a pace, putting his stamp on this race as we are approaching that midway point. And for those new to GNCC, maybe you've never seen one before, maybe you've never attended, uh, we'll talk a little bit uh, in the show here about some of the basics. ATV pros out there racing for two hours. They're not out there, you know, uh, just their class alone as Merritt uh, buzzes past us here. But uh, there are also your amateur classes and some novice classes out there as well. So lap traffic will play a factor. They're all having their own race, that is certain. Uh, but they will uh, obviously go against each other as well uh, on the adjusted time. So just uh, just another thing that kind of makes GNCC so unique from any other kind of racing out there. McClure still on the move. He's got all the smoke. The rest of the XC1 moving up. Uh, McGill looks like he's dropped a couple of positions, but nonetheless, look at that. Every single XC1 guy getting in the fight in the midway point to this one looking for that final and uh, third podium position as it is uh, Bryson Neal and Josh Merritt out in front absolutely sending it right now. B. Neal looking good right there. Nobody around trying to check out to Laterville. Mile marker number nine for him and there comes Josh Merritt making his way through here for the Big Buck GNCC. So Merritt still trying to track down Bryson Neal. Good luck, man. I just don't know. This uh, is going to be tough. It is going to be tough to uh, to get up there and challenge Bryson Neal this season as the rest of the XC1. Boy, single file through there as they continue to try and sort it out. You take one mistake, one guy getting caught by a lapper, and, uh, boy, in this XC1 class, you can go from about hmm, seventh right there to a third-place spot just in the matter of a few turns. Back to Bryson Neal out in front, leading the way. Still got the water bottle hanging from his helmet or hanging from his mouth. He's one of those guys, man, he'll hang on to that for what seems like the entirety of the race. I'm almost positive he's still got the uh, hydration hanging from his mouth until he gets back to the pits. I don't know. I don't know how he does it, but uh, he's clenching his teeth. That can't be good for you, Bryson Neal. <laughs> just, just saying, just throwing it out there. But hey, you know what? He's a national champ. I'm not. Maybe that's the difference. Yeah, that's it. But uh, hey, great racing here in the XC1 class. Everybody wants to uh, set that foundation for their 2024 season. Wyatt Wilkins still trying to find his groove out there. 
They're just sort of stuck behind the rest of the XC1 as they're trying to move. And there's Bryson Neal. And like I said, hey, still got the hydration hanging from his mouth. The man is just absolutely unstoppable. Some of the GNCC fans out there helping point the lines. B. Neal says, appreciate it, boys. Point me the good lines. Josh Merritt keeping pace, the number five. Trying to uh, set the tone for his season with a podium here today. Has not been challenged for that number two spot yet. You know he would like to get up there and battle with Bryson Neal. But how about this? That is uh, Walker Fowler. I was thinking it was Jared McClure. That's Walker Fowler, the 723. Uh, now finds himself in the number three position. Let's see if Walker Fowler can uh, get up in the fight. Boy, if you're Josh Merritt, who do you not want to be trailing? Bryson Neal, who do you not want behind you? I would probably say the 723 of Walker Fowler. So, boy, Josh Merritt, hope you're getting pit boards that let you know the freight train is coming. That is Walker Fowler. Because, man, the seven-time champ going to stop at nothing to try and get up in the fight. But right now, it's all about the Bidwell Bullet. Bryson Neal trying to stay out in front and grab the first win of the 2024 season. We'll be back with more after this. Progressive GNCC Racing is brought to you by Progressive. Progressive could save you hundreds of dollars on your automobile and motorcycle insurance. Specialized, specialized e-turbo bicycles. It's you, only faster. Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. Get ready. And welcome back to GNCC here on RacerTV.com. Watching Bryson Neal, the big well bullet, do his thing on the Yamaha Racing Live drone. What a sensational ride for the number one Phoenix Racing Yamaha to start off the season. Got to get through the finish line chicanes here and be greeted by the Ricky Towery. There it is. Bang. Winner, winner. Bidwell Bullet Bryson Neal takes the first one of the season as the fans hop out of the way. And he is greeted there by the team. Uh, what's that say? Not something. Darn. Really wanted to see that. Not bad for a something. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't read it. <laughs> Nonetheless, B. Neal, big congratulations to him. We had a chance to catch up with him after the race. I was expecting a five-lap race whenever I biked the track yesterday, especially where uh, we're not going all the way down to that super green lush uh, section that we always hit, that bottom and the far end. So uh, I, in my head, I was like, it's going to be a five-lap race going into it. Whenever I saw the white flag, I was like, you know, <laughs> I was just checking myself. So uh, it, not, nothing to do with anything, just kind of just seeing where I was at on time. and. And then, then I was thinking about fuel as well. So, uh, but hey, I'm sorry, Dan, on the start, Lonnie and Brandon, my bad. Uh, I'll get it back next round. <laughs> Boy, and how about this? Look at this man. This man is stoked right now. That is Josh Merritt, who is going to come in for a second place finish, a fist in the air and a little head nod. He said, yeah, I did that, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, boy, you just got to be uh, stoked for uh, Josh Merritt. You know all the work that he puts into this and what this means to him to come out and uh, accomplish a podium, not just a podium, but a second. And boy, how about that? Being greeted by uh, his trainer, Levi Cohen. Merritt absolutely stoked on this one, and rightfully so. A, uh, a sensational ride by him here today. And how about that? Finishing just behind B. Neal and just in front of Walker Fowler. We caught up with Merritt after the race as well. Oh man, I got off to an awesome start. The BNR motor, GBC tires hooked up. Man, got the whole shot and uh, just tried to put in solid laps. I saw Bryson and Jared behind me and uh, Bryson must have got by around Jared pretty quick and he was putting the pressure on and made one little mistake and he was uh, in front of me. Um, he. Uh, kind of paved the way for the for me for the race man he like showed me a couple different lines and i was like okay we can get rolling on this and uh really just you know rode the track i listened to johnny this morning well right on the line he said hey you're not racing anybody but the track so go out there and have some fun so that's what i did and uh i came away with the second place i couldn't be any happier right now man 
Well, there you go. Your uh, your top ten here: Neil, Merritt, and Fowler. Your top three: McGill, just outside of that, and Hart running at the top five. Got a chance to uh, chat with Walker Fowler after the race as well. Just yeah, good good jump. Uh, obviously, uh, Josh Merritt got the whole shot. I went right in the woods with him. These BNR motors, man, uh, we're really starting to get that figured out. It was a uh, it was an army anchor for sure. Really happy with that. Uh, missed the suspension setup a little bit, and and it definitely was partially just the track. And the faster you went, the better the bike felt uh, there towards the end. I definitely felt more comfortable, but uh, I just I needed to stay out front, and I just literally one of these trees right here. There's no bark left on it, and the bumper is about gone on the four wheeler. Uh, second to dead last. I uh, had to lift the quad over my head and and just uh, get back on the track and take a breather and go. Well, it's going to be a long day, you know. Just get what you get and. And enjoy the ride. That's that's my uh, kind of my mo this year. Is I'm just enjoying the ride. I never know when uh, when the end's gonna be for me. And uh, you know these remaining years of my career, I'm just I'm just enjoying it. So uh, I thought I was fourth the whole time. I, I thought Hunter Hart was up there on the podium, and I'm like, eh, you know what? For a fourth place, coming from dead last, and I felt like I rode decent at the end. I was honestly pretty happy. All right, as we take a look at this specialized race recap, the XC1 Pro class. Trying to get that Kanati tires whole shot. Who gets it? How about it for Jared McClure, the Cobra, the Sneaky Snake. Josh Merritt actually got to enjoy the lead for a little bit before eventually Bryson Neal, the Bidwell Bullet, would uh, get around him into the first place position. And boy, honestly, never really looking back from there. McClure had a really good day going early on, had some troubles as the race went on. But again, it was the Phoenix Racing Yamaha of Bryson Neal who once he took the reins of the lead of this race, uh, really never looked back and uh, brings it home for the win. But boy, solid day for Josh Merritt. What a uh, foundation for his 2024 season, getting a second place here today. You could see the emotion after he was wrapped up with the race, what that meant to him. And how about it for Walker Fowler? Not the best start for Fowler, but he was able to uh, chip away at it, get around the majority of that XC1 pack and finish with a third place here today. But that is going to be the man to beat. Bryson Neal, the number one. Who is going to step up and be able to challenge this man this year? Just an absolutely near flawless day. But again, congrats to your top three. Again, B. Neal, Josh Merritt, and Walker Fowler. We'll be back with more racing. We've got uh, our uh, bikes for Big Buck. We've also got, uh, of course, Florida coming up as well as Georgia round two and three. But that is going to wrap us up for now. I'm Mikey Waynes. We'll see you at the races.